morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. It's time once again for our morning prayer and devotion. In our praise reports this morning, Kristen reported yesterday afternoon that her husband John was doing much better, and she asked that we continue to pray for his recovery from all symptoms of COVID pneumonia. Carmen reports that Diana has recovered from her surgery, her shoulder surgery, and her husband expresses his gratitude for the prayers of this team. Cheryl Lachance gives thanks today uh, to the Lord for all that he's done for her, for giving her the desire to learn more about the Bible, and for all the mercy and grace that he has given. I thank the Lord for these praise reports this morning. In our prayer request today, Jane Parrott, or Janie Parrott, has pneumonia, needs our prayers today. Brother Martin Ballestero is in the ICU with a recent heart attack and blood clots. Pastor Dennis Lewis reports that they've had a setback in his wife's COVID situation. The doctors say that she cannot breathe at all on her own, and the family is wrestling with decisions in that situation. Other COVID requests, we have many who are currently recovering from COVID. Evangelist Scott and Jody Smith, the Robinson family, the Wicket family, Robbie Northrup, Emily Stanley, Brother Virgil Marchbank's son Don, Sarah, an apostolic believer in a Muslim country who has been dealing with the Delta variant, and many people in her village have died with the virus. Cheryl Chance's friends Pam and Bill have been recovering from COVID as well as Marty DeLotte's sister, Genevieve. Uh, we have some who are going in for procedures tomorrow. Uh, sister Marsha Moore having a breast biopsy in St. Louis. Sister Shirley Perkins is having a colonoscopy tomorrow. And Carmen has a friend who is scheduled for a biopsy this week as well. Uh, James Jones has suffered multiple strokes and has had some strokes recently and has been in the hospital. Sister Elaine Castro has been in the hospital in St. Louis. Aubrey Vickers needs healing from a traumatic brain injury. Sheila Sappington has laid onset schizophrenia and vascular dementia caused by strokes and TIAs. We're praying for Brother Ron Buford, who's been having some issues with his hands. Uh, Donna Luttrell and J.B. Goforth are on hospice care. We continue to pray for baby Macy, who was born premature at 27 weeks and has been in the uh, Nick you. Uh, we're praying for peace and comfort for all those who have suffered loss of a loved one recently. Uh, those who have heart issues today, we're praying for Cheryl Lachance, Kenny Prenzel, and Erling uh, Copeland, Olivia, Terry Adams, and Regina's granddaughter Aubrey all have chronic stomach issues. Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach suffer with type 1 diabetes. We have several others with diabetes, Terry Adams' friend, Marsha, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl Chance, Brother Pulliam, myself, and J.R. Johnson, excuse me. Uh, Jim Connor is awaiting a kidney transplant. Uh, Lee Young and Aubrey and Loren both have kidney problems. Brother Virgil Pulliam's brother needs healing of the liver and pancreas and healing of his kidneys. Jamie Jo Shepherd needs healing of her liver. Rue is needing a double lung retransplant. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz have COPD. Bonnie Pulaski has difficulty breathing and is requiring oxygen all the time. Cheryl Lachance has lung problems. Lana Taylor, Leslie Pride, and Gerald Hudson all have dementia. Beulah Ziegler, Russ, Ron Bryant, and Tim Workman need healing of Parkinson's disease. Brother Marty DeLott and Brother Riley March have MS. Britt Moore, Michael Parrott, Terry Adams, Tammy Lawson, James Graham, Carol Dixon's pastor, and Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny all have need of healing of their back. Jean Brightwell has arthritis and disc inflammation in her spine, as well as a small aneurysm behind her nasal cavity and uh, severe weight loss over the last several weeks. She's currently undergoing physical therapy to regain her strength. Renee needs prayers for mobility issues and pain in her hip and knee. Pastor Mickey Lewis is facing surgery for a basal cell carcinoma under his left eye. 
Brother Kirk had an allergic reaction to uh, chemo as he began his 11th round of chemo treatment. There are many others who are battling cancer today. Their names are Diane Escher, Claire, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, John Fitzgerald, Bercy Gibbs, Kim, Skin Kim Stinson, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Del Bishop, Josh Soberg, Jerry Williams, Kathy Bloss, Lydia, Philip Randall, Christy Smith, David Harris, Michael Boland, Alicia Piero, Lisa Workman, Ari Bowers, Edie Percival, Kathy Burks, Robert Wicks, Dwayne Lewis, and Terry Adams' friend. We're praying for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker as well, uh, three children who are going through treatments for cancer. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome. Tano Lopez uh, suffers with spina bifida. Baby Elsie and baby Brantley have heart issues. And Abram Page was born with GNA01 disorder. Let's continue to remember all of these children today as uh, they are struggling with these uh, chronic situations. Our other physical needs today include Beth Wheatley's nephew Dylan, John Vaughn, brother and sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan, Meredith, Jimmy Holden, Bobby Larmy, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Chloe Isaac, Shirley Garner, and Judy Williams' sister Mary and daughter Jennifer. Praying for continued recovery today for Dwayne Moore, Carmen's friend Jamie, Judy Williams' mother, Lane Reasons, Carmen's cousin Shannon, Michael Turner, Sister Shute's father, and Sister Arnold. In our family needs this morning, let's not forget to hold up in prayer today. James and Angela Graham and their families, the Vaughn family, Debbie Biddick's family, the Stewart family, brother and sister Woody's family, Grace's best friend's family, Annette and Dave needing healing in their marriage, and Alicia who needs to quickly move back to mainland USA to be able to get her parole transferred to Indiana and to obtain custody of her child. In our spiritual needs this morning, let's pray for Brother Mark Tipton's continued ministry to the homeless communities in the Huntsville, Alabama area. Um, I saw yesterday that Brother Mark is uh, starting a Bible study in a local coffee shop there as well. Let's pray for that effort. Pray for our missionaries, Lonnie and Gail Burton, and Lonnie J. and Damaris Burton, all missionaries to the nation of Venezuela. We need to pray for revival right here at home in our own communities and for the spiritual needs of our family and friends, our loved ones, our own spheres of influence, and the names that we have that represent those needs today include Barbara Owens, Josiah, Terry Adams' children, Judy and Mike's daughter Jennifer, Judy's brother Lewis, Mark and Caitlin, Art Chandler, Beulah's family, Missy Ricker, Nathan, Josh, Jamie, Dan, Dalton, Charles, and Dylan, who all need deliverance from, dr from drug addiction. Uh, Amber Gossett as well needs our prayers. Peggy Fiedler and her family, Caroline's family, Pam Pulliam's children, our Job Corps students and alumni, uh, the residents of Mingo Residential Care Center, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Haley, Evie, Rose, Connor and Carl needing salvation, Lori's mother needing restoration, Tasha's husband Adam and sister Heather needing to be uh, restored today to their relationship with God, Carmen's daughter Grace and Cheryl's family member. So many things to pray about today and I'm thankful that I have people who are here to pray with me. Great to see this report just in that Elaine Castro has been released from the hospital and is doing much better. And Sister Pam thanks us for praying for Elaine. And I welcome you, Sister Pam, Brother Ron today, Sister Beth, good morning to you. Mom and Dad with us today, Sister Marcia Sherman. What a great group here. And I know there's others who will be signing on here momentarily. If you're here and I don't see your name, go ahead and, and uh, put up those prayer hands or hit the like or love button. Let us know that you're there this morning make a brief comment, share a testimony, whatever you feel to do, and we will celebrate with you your recent victories and pray with you regarding any needs that you have today. I want to read to you from Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah 53, just one verse, 
verse number 6 this morning. And it says, All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Yesterday we talked about the story of the prodigal son and how really it is the story of the prodigal nature of the entire human race. And this morning I want you just to consider the many truths about God's love for you that are found in the story of the prodigal son. In those days, for a son to take his father's inheritance and leave the house was the equivalent of wishing the father's death. In that culture, the father was like a king in his home. Uh, and still, when the father in Jesus' parable saw his lost son, he ran to meet him. And today, I want you to think about the fact that uh, we all have that prodigal nature. And there are ways that each of us have behaved like a prodigal child. There are things that we have done that that at times keep us from feeling as if we can spend time in the presence of God. Things that have separated us in our own minds from the Father's house and from relationship with Him. But the important truth that we need to grasp today is that our Heavenly Father is waiting to embrace us in all of those situations and to receive us back to himself, regardless of what sin we may have committed, regardless of the way that we have destroyed or departed from his presence at times. And we all have been guilty of that. And I want you to remember that before you pass judgment on a prodigal, or before you give up on someone, I want you to remember that you have that same prodigal nature. And the elder brother... Um, you know, was uh, backslidden in the home and the prodigal was backslidden but outside of the home. And sometimes the prodigal is not always uh, outside of the father's house. And we saw that whenever we began to see the attitude of the elder brother. So we need to recognize this morning our own prodigal nature and then remember that there is nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ, nothing that we have done, no sin that we have committed. The only thing that keeps us separated is our failure to decide to return to the Father's embrace. And in whatever areas today, maybe that you're um, feeling condemned or that you're allowing yourself to be separated from God, just write those things down on a piece of paper if you need to. Do whatever you need to do and then just rip that up and forget about it and go on because the Father is waiting this morning with open arms. The word says all we like sheep have gone astray. We just read that Isaiah 53 and 6. It wasn't just one prodigal son. It was each and every one of us at different times. We all go astray and our heavenly father um, leaves the 90 and 9 and he goes and comes rejoicing bearing that lost sheep upon his shoulders when he finds it. And so many times that lost sheep has been me. I know that it has been you. So the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all, and we have no reason to fear today. We can come into the presence of God. We can come with boldness today to the throne of grace. The fatted calf has been killed. The party has started. Heaven is rejoicing. If you made a decision this morning to put something behind you, amen, all of heaven rejoices. Let's go into the presence of God today. Would you please share this video with someone who needs hope today? I feel that burden in my spirit this week that we would just take on our hearts those who are who are away from that we would take on our hearts this morning those uh, who are away from God at this moment and need his help today in their lives. Would you pray with me right now for all the needs that are listed here today? Lord Jesus, we thank you that you give us this opportunity every day, that your mercies are new every morning, that we can come into your holy presence. Lord, knowing that there's none good but you, 
but God, your goodness has extended into our lives and your grace and your mercy and your truth is available for each of us today. We thank you, Lord, that in you there is no condemnation to those who walk not after the flesh, but we walk after the Spirit. We walk in the Spirit today. We choose you this day. We choose, Lord, your embrace this morning. Oh, God, let your will be done in our lives this day. Hallelujah. Use us today for your glory. Let your will today become our will. Hallelujah. Let us internalize your own desires today and make them our own right now because we are your body. We are the vehicle, Lord, that you have chosen to uh, disseminate your many good works uh, throughout the earth today. Your love, your compassion, your mercy, your grace is to shine through us today. Use us, Lord, during this prayer time to minister to someone's need, perhaps someone that has no idea that someone's praying for them today. But God, we thank you, Lord, that you allow us this opportunity, hallelujah, to reach out to them today through this prayer ministry. Lord, there's so many in need of healing today, and you are aware there's nothing that escapes your attention. There's not a hair of our head that falls to the ground that you do not take notice of today. And Lord, you know the needs of your children. Hallelujah. You only desire that we submit those needs to you, that we give them to you, that we lay them before you and walk away and take our hands off of these situations and trust you this morning. And we're here to do that for Janie Parrott, Lord. We're believing for healing of pneumonia right now, for Brother Ballestero, for healing from his heart attack and blood clots. We pray, pray for Pastor Dennis Lewis and for his wife, Cindy. Lord, you see the dire situation there right now, that family not knowing what to do in this situation. Lord, the daughters, the children today, Lord, that are struggling right now. We believe God. We know you're able to work a miracle right now. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. We pray for Evangelist Scott and Jody Smith, for the Robinson and Wicket families, for Robbie Northrup and Emily Stanley, for Don and Sarah, for Pam and Bill, for Genevieve today, for all those who are currently battling COVID and those who are in recovery right now. God, we believe for complete healing, restoration. Hallelujah. That there will be no long-term damage to lungs today, God. Hallelujah. Let uh, strength re-enter their bodies today, God. And we give you praise and glory. We pray, Lord, for Sister Marsha Moore and for Sister Shirley Perkins as they're having procedures tomorrow and Carmen's friend who's scheduled for a biopsy. Lord, we believe for your touch upon them right now. We pray for Brother J James Jones today, God, that you would touch his body. Lord, that you would minister healing to him today. Oh, God, touch his mind, touch his spirit right now, touch his body. Lord, that he would be whole today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Aubrey today. Touch her today, God. Touch Sheila, Lord. Touch her mind in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your healing for Sister Elaine, that she's out of the hospital now. We give you glory and praise for that today. We thank you, Lord, for touching uh, Kristen's husband, John, that he's doing better. We're believing for his full recovery in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Oh, we love you, God. We pray for Brother Ron today, Lord. Lord, that he would receive healing of these problems with his hands right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Lord, for Donna and JB on hospice today, for baby Macy in the NICU. We pray for peace and comfort for those uh, who have lost someone dear to them recently. Lord, you see this path that they now must walk. And we know, God, that each of us are going to have to walk that same path of loss and of suffering. And we pray, God, today, Lord, that they would be able to feel the strength of the prayers of your people for them today. Encourage them, strengthen them today, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for those with heart issues, those with stomach problems right now, those who are suffering from diabetes, Lord. You've heard every name that's been called out today on this prayer list. We pray for those with kidney problems. Oh, in Jesus' name, we pray for Brother Pulliam's brother right now, for Jamie Joe, Lord. Hallelujah. You are our healer. You are the supplier of every need. We trust in you, Lord. We trust in you. We pray, God, 
for those who have lung problems today. You see Rue, Lord. You see the situation that he's been in for so long. He needs healing today. He needs healing of his lungs right now. Lord, we know that you are well able. We know there's nothing that's too hard for you. Hallelujah. Touch Bonnie today. Touch Cheryl. Touch Robbie and Kendra, Lord. Hallelujah. Every respiratory issue we lay before your feet today, God, we trust for your healing. We pray for those with dementia, those who are suffering with Parkinson's disease and MS and back issues. Lord, you see Britt and Terry and Michael, Tammy and James, Carol's pastor and Jenny today. We're believing for healing of their back pain right now. We pray for Jean Brightwell. We pray for Renee, Lord. Touch their bodies today. These who are battling cancer this morning, we believe for your healing for them, for Pastor Lewis, for Brother Kirk, for Diane, Esther, and Claire, for Marcia's friends, grandparents. We pray for John Fitzgerald and Versi Gibbs. We lift up Kim Stinson and Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Laramore and Del Bishop, Josh Soberg, Jerry Williams, Kathy Bloss, Lydia, Philip Randall, Christy Smith. Oh, Lord, you are the healer of these bodies. Hallelujah. We believe, God, for every cancer cell to die, that these who are suffering might live today. We pray for David Harris, for Michael Boland, for Alicia Piero and Lisa Workman. We lift up Ari Bowers and Edie Percival. We pray for Kathy Burks and Robert Wicks, for Dwayne Lewis and for Terry's friend, for these children, Lorelei and Jenna and Tucker, who are battling cancer as well. We pray, Lord, for these children who are suffering from rare diseases today and with heart problems. Lord, with spina bifida, we believe for Tano Lopez to be healed. We pray for Abel Ray to be healed of PKU, baby Elsie and baby Brantley to receive healing hearts today, and for Abram to be healed of this rare disorder that he has. We believe, God, for healing of every physical need. We bring Chloe and Dylan to your throne today. God, John, Vaughn, and, and Morgan and Meredith. We pray for Jimmy Holden and Bobby Larmy, for Nicole, for Regina Bishop, for Shirley Garner, for Judy's sister Mary, for her daughter Jennifer, Lord. We believe for your healing touch. Let your virtue flow right now. Hallelujah. We believe, God, for continued and full recovery, for Dwayne Moore, for Jamie for Judy's mother, for Lane Reasons, for Shannon and Michael, for Sister Shute's father and Sister Arnold. Hallelujah. We know, God, that you're moving in our family situations today. We pray for James and Angela, God, whatever the hindrance is there. We pray, God, that you would move, that you would draw them back by your spirit, Lord, that you would strengthen their family today. We pray for the Vaughn family. Lord, you see the need that is there, the deep need, God, in that family. Move, we pray today. We pray for Debbie's family. Her daughters today need you, Lord. We pray for the Stewart family, the Woody family. We pray for Grace's best friend and her family today. For Annette and Dave, Lord, that you would move in their marriage. We pray for Alicia's need, Lord, that she would be able to relocate quickly, that she would be able to get these issues with her parole worked out, that she would be able to get custody of her child. Lord, you see every spiritual need that's going on right now. You see the need for revival in our communities. Lord, you want revival to break forth. Hallelujah. It's not your will that any should perish today, but that all should come to repentance. We thank you for what you're doing here in our own town. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in every city across America. We know that your work is being done, Lord. Help us to step into the flow of what you are doing. Hallelujah. Let our passion become one with your passion today. Help us, God, not to be distracted by the cares of this life. We want to be used of you, Lord. We pray for our missionaries, Lonnie and Gail Burton, Lonnie J. and Damaris Burton in Venezuela, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, bless their ministry today. You see the chaos in that country. But, Lord, you are Lord over all today. You are in control. We pray for your blessing and favor. We pray for Brother Mark Tipton, Lord, for the Bible study that he's beginning, for his ministry to the homeless there in the Huntsville, Alabama area. We pray, God, for each of these among our family and friends, Lord, who need you today, Barbara Owens and Josiah. We pray for Terry Adams' children, for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer. 
We lift up Judy's brother, Lewis, today. We pray for Mark and Caitlin, for Beulah's family, for Art Chandler. We lift up Missy Ricker. We pray for Nathan, for Josh and Jamie and Dan and Dalton and Charles and Dylan who need deliverance from drug addiction today. We pray for Charles and Amber Gossett, for Peggy Fiedler and her family, for Caroline's family, for Pam Pulliam's children, for our Job Corps students and alumni. We pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Marcia's children and granddaughter. We lift up Haley and Evie, Rose and Carl and Connor today in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, for Lori Arbo's mother, for Tasha's husband and sister, for Carmen's daughter, Grace, for Cheryl's family member today. We know, God, that you're moving in these needs. We pray for those at the residential care center today, God, that you would move in their lives. Let your will be done in their lives today. In Jesus' name, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, God, in every need, every request, God, those requests that have been submitted even while we've been praying this morning. We're believing, God, for you to move in these needs today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with us today. And I look forward to praying with you again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. I will see you then.